Hey everyone, I thought we'd take a look at another Stockfish versus Leela Chess Zero game today in the CCC bonus CPU showdown. So each side gets 10 minutes and a 3 second increment. Stockfish plays white and Leela plays black. And the opening book for this game was actually a fried liver attack. So Stockfish plays e4, Leela plays e5, knight f3, knight c6 and bishop c4, knight to f6, knight g5. So white's hitting the f7 pawn, black plays d5 to block, e takes d5, knight takes d5, and here white can actually play knight takes f7, sacrificing a piece. This is very well known theory, and quite a fun opening to play in blitz. So white's just given up a piece for a great attack. So king takes f7, queen to f3 is played, so now the queen's hitting the knight with the bishop there, and king e6 is played to defend the knight, and also the queen on d8 defends it as well. Knight c3 is played to attack the knight once again. And knight c to b4 is played to defend the knight. And this is the end of the opening book. So this is going to be an attacking game versus a defensive game. I think it's fair to say that white wins most games in this position. Even though black to piece up, it's really hard to defend this position. Especially for human players. So it would be very interesting to see how Leela gets on in this position. And it would be also very interesting just to see how Stockfish uh, attacks this position. Normally moves like a3 are played here. So if a3, Stockfish actually gives this as winning for black now. After knight takes c2 with check, king d1, knight takes a1. You'd think that white would have a decent attack here, which they do. Knight takes d5 can be played. But now Stockfish actually thinks queen h4 is winning for black, attacking the bishop on c4. White can obviously play knight takes c7 with double check. But after king d7, white can't really fault the attack properly. After queen f7, queen e7, white plays knight takes rook. Queen takes, bishop takes f7, and black plays bishop c5. So both sides now have three pieces, and both sides knights are trapped in the corner for the time being anyway. Stockfish suggests white should play d4 in this position. After bishop takes d4, play bishop to e3. Mons captures twice, black can play rook f8, and bishop a2 is given, rook f2, and it looks as though black after rook takes g2 is actually winning this position now. So black has the extra pawn and the more active pieces. But in this position, as a human player, you'd no way think that a3 was a bad move. It's going to be really hard for black to defend this in a real game. But Stockfish didn't play a3, they instead played castles here. So Straight away they want to try and get the rook to e1 and start harassing the king on e6. Leela plays c6 to once again defend the knight on d5. And Stockfish now opens everything up with d4. If black takes on d4, I think white can play rook to e1 with nice play now. If king d7, white can take on d5. And if black tries to recapture, let's say knight takes d5, white can capture again. And if captures again, just queen takes if bishop to d6, just play bishop to f4. Queen f6 may defend everything. But after bishop g5 hitting the queen, it's very tricky for black. Let's say queen g6 in this position. Well, white can play rook to e7, for instance. And note the bishop on d6 is pinned by this queen. So after bishop takes d5 in this position, black could play king c7 and just accept that white's won their piece back. But white can continue with bishop f4 check. If bishop d6... Knight to e4 is a really nice move. Just hitting this bishop twice. So bishop takes f4. Queen takes f4 with check. King b6 to run away. And white can just calmly play bishop to b3 with an excellent position. And friendly moves like a3 here for instance. So after d4. Black didn't take on d4. Which I think is a wise option. Instead Leela just dropped the king back to d7. And Stockfish plays a3 to hit the knight on b4. Uh, and there's two options here that black can play. Knight takes c2 is an option, hitting the rook on a1. But white maintains their advantage with queen f7 check. If bishop to e7, they play queen f5. And they're going to hit the knight on c2. So let's say king c7 and just queen takes c2. The knight can recapture on c3. B takes c3. Bishop to d6. White can take on e5. Bishop takes and just bishop to e3. So who's winning this position? Well... Even though material is relatively even, again white's so much more ahead in development and the black king on c7 is really susceptible to an attack here. So I definitely do think white is better in this position. After a3 though, Leela didn't take on c2, instead she took on c3, knight takes c3. 
and now Stockfish took on b4. The knight moves back to d5 and Stockfish takes on d5, c takes d5 and now plays a really good move rook to a5. So getting another piece into the attack and threatening to play rook takes d5 and try and win this queen on d8. So still white is a bishop down but look at black's king position it blocks in the c8 bishop and the queen it's going to be very hard to defend. King c7 was played by Leela and now rook takes d5 hitting the queen on d8. The queen moves to f6 and Stockfish plays queen to g3 so pinning the pawn on e5. And of course moves like bishop d6 aren't an option here because just d takes e5 and white will win their piece back. In the game Leela took on b4 with the bishop. Stockfish played bishop g5 developing another piece and hitting the queen with a tempo. Queen g6 is played and c3 hitting the bishop on b4. The bishop retreats to f8, literally the only square it probably could have gone to. And Stockfish plays a very sweet move now. They play rook to d8, so this stops black from developing full stop now. The bishops can't get out, just due to the fact that the rook can take one of these bad boys on the side of the board. So black's in a very bad position right now. a5 was played, maybe to play rook a6 and develop. Uh, but Stockfish plays h4, maybe preparing h5 with queen takes e5 ideas and maybe a bishop check at the end of it, where the queen will be susceptible to a discovered attack on h5 perhaps. Leela now played h6, hitting the bishop, but now white comes up with a really genius plan of a discovered attack. They play rook takes f8, rook takes f8 is played by Leela, and now just bishop to d8 check, and white's going to pick up the queen on g6, so king takes the bishop, Queen takes queen and rook a6 from Leela. Stockfish takes on g7 and already this looks like a really easy one position for white now. Let's say rook e8, white can take on e5 and open up the d file against this black king. If rook e7, queen f8, rook e8 and now rook d1 hitting the king. And if bishop d7, play a move like queen f3 hitting the pawn on b7 and this bishop on d7 is pinned maybe king c7 is an option here but then just like rook takes d7 king takes and queen takes b7 winning the rook so i showed you that variation just because lily now just gave up i think she played rook f7 just giving away the rook queen takes f7 bishop e6 queen takes b7 bishop c8 white played queen to b8 rook b6 they capture king e8 rook e1 bishop e6 Queen takes bishop, king d8, queen f7 after a4 takes a3, rook e8 is checkmate by, by stockfish, and Leela's lost the game. So it's very interesting that the black side wasn't able to defend this position. I think it's a bit of an unfair position because it's known to be quite good for white. But again, this is really good in blitz play if you ever want to play the fried liver attack. And it's just good to know for your chess opening theory, to be honest. But it's hard to see where Leela went wrong. I think, just, I think just this general opening causes black to lose this game, to be quite honest. So what should you play in this position? Well, d5 is fine. And if e takes d5, usually knight to a5 is the correct move to play in this opening. And the bishop will be forced to move. Usually bishop b5 is played, followed by c6, takes, takes. And the bishop's forced to move, maybe to e2 or f1, or bishop to d3. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the analysis of this video. This was quite a quick game. But please drop me a like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more videos in the future. And see you in the next one. Cheers everyone.